இயற்கையை மறந்த சேனலுடைய மேலும் பல பதிவுகளை தெரிந்து கொள்ள இந்த சேனலை சப்ஸ்கிரைப் செய்யவும் பெல் பட்டனை அழுத்தவும் மேலும் மருத்துவரின் ஆலோசனை பெற இந்த வீடியோவில் உள்ள எண்ணிற்கு தொடர்பு கொள்ளவும்are being praised as the superfoods of the modern times. It is very common for uh, people of the northern part of India to have it in their diet. I don't think uh, from the south we include it more. But it is, what is the truth about it? What is millets? What are millets? And uh, how is it beneficial? Because a lot of diabetic people now they are under the trend that as soon as they are diagnosed, they go behind millets. They include more, they just substitute the grains, rice or wheat or whatever they understood that even wheat is bad for them right now. That is a good thing. The awareness that even wheat is the same as rice and it's not going to do any good for them has come about. So they have turned to millets. So let us know what millets really are and what, why it is being chosen instead of wheat or rice so millets are a small seeded grass so uh, these are just like grains but they are smaller they are chosen in the place of grains like rice or wheat because they have more minerals they have more fiber and they are also not as refined or polished as uh, the current commercial rice available to us in the market is this actually, does it actually make a whole lot of difference? I would tell no, because it is a choice between lesser of the evil. The grains are very bad and I would say millets are better. It is not that they are the best, but they are better. It is because we have no other choice. We cannot uh, keep on including expensive food like uh, good fats and uh, other meats or non-veg items or something into our diet all the time. So it is better to include millets in our diet rather than grains. Why? Because grains are 80 percentage sugar, rice is 80 percentage sugar, 75 to 80 percentage. Wheat is also 75 to 80 percentage sugar and millets are 65 to 70 percentage sugar so it is not much of a difference i've seen people avoiding fruits during diabetes but this is wrong you can have plenty of fruits because fruits have more vitamins more minerals they have more fiber they have proper fiber and their sugar percentage is only around 10 percentage so you can have fruits but not in a large amount but millets are not to be praised you cannot see it as a superfood you cannot see it as a medicine please that is what i'm trying to say over here i do not want you to see it as a medicine i want you to see it just as a substitute just what it is actually so my advice to people who use millets is first and foremost if you are diabetic and if that is why you have turned your diet into millets then stop millets at least for two months, at least for one and a half to two months. Because millets, as I said, same amount of sugar. Because they are not polished and because they are more uh, rough, the time that the sugar is taken up by the body may be a little elongated, maybe it delays it than grains. But again, it's the same effect. If all these sugars come into your blood, it is again going to reinforce the insulin resistance that you already have which is the root cause of diabetes so it is not because you don't have insulin you have insulin in your body but it is not being able to properly function it is not able to open the cells and take the glucose take the sugars for energy inside the cell so i'll talk about that in another video it's a long topic but let me tell you about millets so do not take millets at least for one and a half to two months just like how you stop grains and wheat stop millets as well after that after this two months 
after your body has uh, reversed the insulin resistance condition has reverted back then you can slowly incorporate millets into your diet but it should not be three times a day it should be only once a day let me tell you again it cannot it is not a substitute for three times a day it is only for once a day you can instead have good fats and vegetables and uh, other food for filling your stomach when you are hungry when you are having millets millets don't necessarily need to be always used as porridge you can make dosas or you can make biryanis you can make upmas also with millets it's very tasty it's very it's a very uh, good food because in my part of kerala or i don't know if in kerala in general that's how they see it i've seen people using it only as bird feed they give it to their pet birds or they give it for other feeds they don't think that uh, we can it is uh, for consumption for humans as well but it is a very good substitute in that sense and uh, you can enjoy it i hope this video has shed a new light on uh, what millets really are and how it can help you keep yourself healthy and thank you